Now, SEA Games action continues in the Philippines with stirring comebacks, the order of the day for Singaporean national paddlers. The paddlers Kuan Pang and Lin Ye secured both the men and women's singles gold medals in an all-Singapore final. 17-year-old Kuan Pang is the first local SEA Games men's singles champion, building on the momentum from his semi-final win to beat Clarence Chiu in the final. 23-year-old Lin Ye defeated veteran Feng Tian Wei after Feng retired at the start of the second game due to an injury. Here with us to tell us more is correspondent David Lee. Hey David. Hi. Now David, what a day for Team Singapore Paddlers. Right. Uh, you know, talk us through Kuan Pang's journey to getting the gold medal. Right, so earlier this afternoon, he was up against uh, Thailand's Padasak, a higher-ranked player in mm -hmm. the semi-finals. Uh, he went down three zero in the first three games good thing it was a best of seven format mm -hmm. so uh, in an in a earlier conversation he told me you know he faces Cohen faces uh, problems uh, when he plays against left-handed players because he himself is a left-handed player so uh, his first three ball attacks were not were not as effective against uh, such similar players so he, he told me he, he managed to uh, you know calm himself down and, mm. and be less anxious you know easier said than done it yeah, was, a, it was, it was a, a place in the final was at stake but somehow he managed to, to do it you know and then he won his next four games which was incredible he won 11-9 11-6 11-3 11-9 mm. uh, to advance into the final then in the final he was up against his own uh, countryman Clarence Chu mm. who was another lefty mm. and someone he has not beaten this entire year during training or even competition mm. uh, but somehow he, he managed to, to win 4-0 and this is uh, Singapore's uh, first uh, he is Singapore's first local born men singles champion at the SEA right. Games and the youngest as well at 17 years old very impressive. Right. Now, David, you know, uh, let's move on to the women's uh, singles. Um, now, prior to the women's final, uh, Feng Tianwei, of course, um, also showed tenacity right. to overcome her semi-final uh, match. You know, was she the favourite to win instead of Lin Ye, you know, going into the final? Right. Feng, uh, Feng Tianwei was also 3-0 down in her semi-final and, and managed to win 4-3, so setting up an all-Singapore final. Uh, of course, Tianwei would be the favourite. Uh, because she's the highest ranked uh, player in the competition by far. She's world number nine. She's up against Lin Ye, her, her teammate, who is world number 62. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, Tianwei had to retire because uh, she had a recurring wrist injury. Even though she was leading 11-6 after the first game, she had to retire at the start of the second game uh, due to injury. Uh, it's a shame, but you know, at least uh, Singapore managed to retain the, the women's singles uh, gold medal. Yeah. yeah. Now, David, um, you know, on a final note, you know, the two wins are certainly, you know, good news uh, for Team Singapore. But, you know, I understand that this is Singapore table tennis' uh, lowest return um, since the 1997 Sea Games. You know more about that, right? Uh, I, I think it's it's a concern because uh, you know we are we are going to Olympics year next year, and uh, the in the women's team where where much is expected of them, they have brought in the medals in previous games. Uh, we we are seeing that you know players are getting older, they are getting more injury prone. Mm. Uh, Yu Meng, you had to withdraw from this competition due to a recurring back injury, mm. and you see Tianwei now with her wrist injury. Uh, I think they 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 will fight on, but you know I, I believe the women's doubles loss losses were a blip. Uh, and and uh, at least at Sea Games level, they will they will get back to winning ways mm -hmm. because you know table tennis has always been a gold mine uh, for for Singapore as far yeah. as Sea Games is concerned. You know every year they'll bring in at least uh, four gold medals from from previous games in in the past twenty years. Uh, but you know sometimes at some Sea Games the the events are cut. For example, this year in the Philippines uh, they have uh, left out. Um, the team events and the mixed doubles mm. so that's four events to 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 try to get goal from mm. uh, unfortunately men's doubles and women's doubles we, we both couldn't get the goal uh, but at least now you know in the, in the men's singles it's an all singapore affair again and, and you know that there's there's a new dawn is in sight for for at least the men's uh, team at at the sea games level yeah well certainly a lot to look forward to well thanks david for coming thanks, on yeah. the show and sharing more with us now make sure you keep up to date with the sea games and team singapore on our website straightstimes.com